Oh no! Welcome, all users of the internet, and this is not a follow-up video to the previous one that I did. It's more of a side job, as you could say, because I wanted to replace my low-tier plane, which wasn't doing very well in 5.7, with something a little bit more adequate. And I decided that would be the F6F5N, or the Hellcat, the one with the radar. Uh, yeah, that thing. One of the reasons I went for this was because, one, the radar, and two, it's a much higher BR, and it's got two 20mm cannons and four machine guns. 50 cals to be exact, but uh, I kind of wanted to take you through my time grinding to this aircraft, as I had a very interesting time uh, going through, uh, mainly just four different planes, well, mainly one that I really liked, but yeah, that's basically the whole goal of this video, hopefully I made that clear enough, and now on to the rest of the video. My adventure starts by grinding using the P-40E-1. The plane that I had before that I currently wanted to replace. It is an all over great plane. Very, very nice. Uh, it turns very fast. It carries bombs, which is very nice, especially in War Thunder. It's got six 50 caliber machine guns. Very, very nice aircraft. I loved it. Except for it wasn't doing very good on high tier battles or higher tier battles. And I kind of wanted to change that and uh, upgrade from it. And when I had stocked up on research points, I was able to purchase the P-40F-10, which is basically a P-40E-1, but I haven't fully upgraded it, and I kind of gave up on using it because I kept on... It wasn't just a fun... It, it wasn't a fun experience. So then I went back to the P-40E-1, and I started researching the TBF-C-1, or one... I'm sorry. TBF-1C which is a bomber, but I wasn't, it wasn't fun playing with that. So then I decided to start researching the A36, or what I'm going to call right now the A10 of World War II, as you probably saw from the intro, and very, very fun, pl fun plane to play on. So then I started researching the F4U-1D, which I had no fun whatsoever, and from then, it was basically an open road to the F6F5N, which is the goal that I've been having this entire time. I really like the A36 Apache, mainly because the attachment for gun pods. I haven't played a single game without gun pods ever since I researched them, and I have the plane aced. So, I basically just equip tracers on all of them. Sure, it's not very practical, but it's what I prefer to play with. And so then I basically just shot down tons of aircraft, and it took me around three to four days of just two hours straight of grinding each time. I don't have simulator battles, so it doesn't give me a lot of silver lions. Xbox players do not have uh, simulator battles whatsoever. And so basically from then, if I got an average of a kill per game, I would get around... 2,000 research points, which is more than enough than what I need for every game. So I just had a blast with that. And the last 30 minutes or so of that two hours, I would go back into tank battles to keep going to the helicopter, which I'm trying to free-to-play grind to that with no Golden Eagles whatsoever. And yeah, I like that aircraft, basically. If you want a review on it, comment below, or maybe if I do have an iCard up there, then vote using the iCard. But, uh, yeah, I like that plane. It's awesome.
and after much time grinding with the A36 Gunslinger, or the Head-On Monster, I soon got all the research points necessary to get the F6F 5N, which I have only played one game with. Yeah. But anyways, I'm going to keep playing it, and if you want a review of it, definitely comment below or use the iCard. Definitely, definitely, definitely. And so, yeah, that's basically the entire video. I, I, I really need votes on what to do because I'm running out of ideas already. This is my own. This is my second video, basically. And so, yeah. Also, if you want to review on an American tank that's not premium, sorry, I'm a free-to-play player, then comment down below for a tank of rank 3 and lower. Any one of those tanks on the American tree, I can do a review on. So, yeah, comment down below and see you guys, I guess.